Welcome to another installment of the Digital Hub. We've got a video today discussing remote online notarization. I am Jason Nadeau, the Chief Digital Officer, Fidelity National Financial. Let's talk about remote online notarization. Notarization electronically has existed for a number of years, which is in-person notarization. In that particular model, you're doing a notarization like you would have done in the past, face-to-face -face with the customer. They're signing electronically, you're notarizing electronically. This model got limited adoption over the years. New on the market, if you will, the last couple of years is remote online notarization. This is notarization that is done remotely using webcam audiovisual technology. You also use knowledge-based authentication tools and ID verification tools, and there are very specific state regulations on the type of technology. Why is this important? You cannot become an e-notary by simply having your um, notary seal grabbing FaceTime or Google Hangouts and watching people notarize over the phone or over webcam. Very specific rules have been propagated by the states on the type of technology you need to do this. You must use knowledge-based authentication tools. Those are question-based authentication in addition to being able to show somebody's ID, scan it, and verify it's accurate. These technologies are supplied by a number of vendors and there are very specific regulations put out by each state, they're very similar, that require it. What's the skinny about what's going on with Ron these days? Well, 22 states have passed laws. Note, just because a state has passed a law does not mean that Ron is in effect in that state. Almost all of the state laws when they're passed have clauses in them stating that the Secretary of State or some other governing body will be responsible for publishing much more detailed and administrative functions around how you get registered as an e-notary, how you get your digital certificate, what type of technology can be used and such. That can take anywhere from a couple months to up to a year from when the law is passed. So keep in mind, just because the law is about to go in effect in your state or has recently gone into effect in your state, there is that lag before when it's effective. To that point, 22 states have passed laws, 10 are in effect right now, five have actually fully implemented. So we have five states we can do it in today, 22 down the roadmap, and then certainly more than that as the laws um, pass again next year. Today, Ron has a lot of hype and a lot of press, more than substance, meaning we're hearing an awful lot more about Ron in the news and in the press and in the uh, gossip, if you will, than we are seeing actual Ron transactions. Vendors are still working through technology challenges. As you know, and if many of you have ever done video conferencing or have done video calls, there are still challenges with video calls and video technologies. You need newer technology. The borrowers need to be pretty tech savvy. And specifically, you're going to need high bandwidth. The tech vendors are working diligently on trying to make sure the process is as smooth as possible, but there are still some bumps in the roads. The other thing to keep in mind is if you've watched my other video about e-notes, understand that if an e-note has not been adopted by the lender and you're trying to do a RON transaction with a borrower, that borrower is still going to have to come into your office to sign the paper note. And in my opinion, if you're asking a customer to go through all the hoops of jumping through an online transaction and using video to sign some of their documents only to end the video call and then drive to where you're sitting to sign the note, seems like it would have been better off for them to just come visit you. So until we get fully to e-notes, it's going to be limited on the borrower side. So what we're seeing is full RON e-closing volume right now. It's pretty low. That being said, seller side deals, no note. Cash deals, no note. Individual documents that need to be notarized as part of the transaction, documents such as a survey affidavit in Texas, for instance, are great examples. So we are seeing traction using RON as a tool for parts of the closing transaction, part of the closing process. How do you get started? Number one, you have to be in a state, at least if you're working with Fidelity, you've got to be in a state where RON laws have been passed and the guidelines have been issued. Next most important thing, contact your state underwriter for approval. You do need to have approval to do RON in your state. You must use an underwriter approved technology vendor. There are a number of technology vendors out there. And at Fidelity, as a family of underwriters, we diligently review these companies and ensure that they provide technology that will meet our guidelines as an underwriter to ensure those transactions. So when you're talking to your state underwriter, also get the list from them, technology provider. Today, we're only supporting it for residential transactions and very important point. The electronic notary must reside in the same state as the property. So if you want to do a transaction in Texas, for instance, where I am sitting and it is allowed, you must be a Texas e-notary and the property needs to be in Texas. The borrower can be anywhere. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned a little bit about 
eNotary.